I now call to order the New Carlisle City Council meeting, November 19th, 2018 at 7 p.m. Mrs. Berner. Mayor Reynolds. Here. Mr. Shammy. Here. Mr. Lowry. Here. Mr. Cobb. Here. Mr. Cook. Here. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Here. Six members present. Fantastic. Will we all stand for the invocation by Councilman Shammy? Bow our heads, please. I'd like to ask the Lord to bless our city, our, our citizens, and look down upon us on this holiday week. Make sure... Uh, Put a couple extra blessings and guidance as we get together for Thanksgiving and in his name. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of fact. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Action on the minutes for 11-5-18. So moved. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Mayor Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Shammy. Yes. Mr. Lowry. Yes. Mr. Cobb. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. And it's accepted 6-0. Fantastic. And then communications, none tonight. City manager report, Mr. Bridge. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, members of council, members of public, like to share with you the city manager's report. Starting off with our finance discussion, our finance director, Ms. Watson. Hi, good evening, everyone. Um, our October total revenue was $429,426.83. Our total um, expenses for October was $563,544, I mean, dollars and 57 cents. But year to date, we're still, um, of course, our revenue is higher at $5,330,927.66, with our expenses at $4,350,191.18. Um, once again, still coming soon, new and improved finance reports. I'm very excited about our new system coming in. We're working diligently to get that up and running, uh, probably the middle of December. Um, it will have... It, Creating reports of any kind of information we might need is much more efficient with this new program. So I'm excited about that. Fantastic. Council, any questions? Hearing none. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Mr. And I just want to add on to that. In her packet, she gave a city income tax collection year to date for 2018. I pinned those numbers against where we were at this time last year, and we are sitting at about $109,000 above. So that's good news. Okay. And uh, moving on with the city manager report, uh, our service director, uh, Mr. Howard Kitko. Thank you, Mr. Bridge. Good evening, Mayor, Council, members of the public. Uh, we'll start with our service departments. Leaf collection has begun. Uh, the biggest note is please do not park on the leaf piles or near them. Uh, when we had the truck out this past week, there was so many that the cars were actually sitting over a very large pile. One thing is that it definitely is a fire hazard, but two, we cannot collect those leaves. The machine's not able to get right in close, and uh, we will not have, don't have the personnel and get our equipment and end up scratching a vehicle just to try and rake leaves away from it. So please pass that on to your neighbors. If you see a neighbor like that uh, parking on them, maybe that'll help us out. Uh, we'll try to get some more information out. Hydro flushing is complete, and that uh, the fire chief and his crews did an excellent job. I'd like to thank them for helping out our water department. They've returned in their reports and documented any kind of uh, you know minor things that might be, uh, or we have some issues with hydrants. And currently, the water crew has been on top of uh, trying to do some repairs to those as they as the um, fire department has completed them. We have completed some street repairs caused by trash tra traffic in various areas of the city, and we still have more to do. Some of those will end up being passed on through um, the winter time or springtime um, when we get uh, better weather and two better materials to work with. Uh, we are completing some minor projects. Hopefully, we can get them done before the heavy snow hits. We have a couple small concrete projects finish up some swings and some catch basins that we had some issues with uh, collapsing. Uh, 2018 various road projects, uh, the Clark County project for White Pine, Greenheart, and Furwood resurfacing is now complete. I just received yesterday the final invoice. Um, it did come in under budget, which uh, by about $14,500. And with that, that was basically some manholes that did not need adjusted when they did the final grade. 
And also, we ended up being just a little heavy on our surface course, which is fine. Um, we paid more for asphalt in lieu of not having some other parts of the project that we didn't have to pay for. So we will take that 14.5, keep it in the budget, and we will add it to next year to see where we'll be, uh, because we will be funding some of Galewood Drive uh, next year with engineering, and then we'll have some more repairs. And if I can, my goal will be to finish up Hemlock, Bittersweet, and then finish up the, the Willowick section will be completely done uh, as far as any kind of asphalt work for the near future. And then as Mr. Bridges uh, had passed out at the last council meeting, we were approved for the Galewood Drive project. We are um, about to already start engineering because it has been, uh, been told to us that uh, contractors are already scheduling work for 19 and are going to be very busy and that we should not wait um, to start this and have this be a, another late early or an early to late fall project uh, in, in, in order to try and get some favorable bid numbers. Uh, wastewater plant influent building upgrade. The engineer, engineering ordinance is in front of you tonight for approval. The city is anxious to get this project underway. And as the project progresses, more ordinance will be put in, in front of you um, once we get a bid and we get bids open to award that contract that will be coming via ordinance. And then when we get the final amounts that we will be paying out of our current budget and cash funds from the wastewater plant, and then what we may need for the short-term loan um, from a local institution, those will be coming in front of council. Also, Mr. Bridge will be presenting those. So be, you'll see a couple more ordinances that will be coming through for this project. So this is not a final that till we complete everything. And then traffic signal upgrade project. Um, I did have no current update. However, um, I do have a small one. We are about to finalize all the payments to the property owners that we are getting temporary easements and permanent right of way takes to install those traffic signals. Those are about done. Final tracings, which are the very final set of plans uh, that they'll take out for bid are to be completed, I think, this June. So we're still on track uh, for a traffic signal project. And that is all I currently have on the report. I can entertain anything on the report or any other questions. Council. Vice Mayor Lindsay. <clears throat> Mr. Kiko, how much have we spent acquiring the land that we need for the traffic signal? Um, I have budget. Well, in the end, New Carlisle will have not um, used any of our local dollars. This is all congestion mitigation air quality funds, federal. But to date, I think um, they're right on par. I think I budgeted 10. We're going to be coming in around six. I think our largest parcel take was the Speedway area. We're cutting them a check for the east side for $300. And then the west side, where they just put the new sign of landscaping and we got to redo some stuff, is about $1,400. But a typical easement uh, we've been experiencing here is about $300. OK, thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Mr. Kiko, thank you for the report. On the, um, the city-owned vehicle report that's going to be coming out from you, hopefully here in the coming weeks or months, mm -hmm. whenever you have that ready, will that also have any report as far as like what kind of uh, problems or damage may have? Like, you know, if there's a you know, big dent in it or uh, something's not functioning correctly, will I have that in the report as well? Just some detail. I already do have that. Uh, rusted body, uh, losing power, okay. um, more maintenance. I have about a couple inch little spot in the Excel to type this. It won't be like a, a one or two sentence per vehicle. Right. It's just a couple quick notes per vehicle on where I see it. So if it was a five needs replaced, I'd give you the few worst things that are happening with it to show why it was a five. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And then also on the repave that we've done in the past, you know, that we've done this year, and I'm not talking about the full reconstructions, just the, the repave projects that we've done over the past couple of years where we've probably knocked out, I don't know, six to, eight roads or somewhere around there. Where do you see our, uh, how do you see our, our resurfacing uh, rate in the future? I mean, do you see us knocking out two, three roads every year um, as far as just mill and fill? Or, I mean, uh, do you see that? 2019 will be the slowest of them all. Um, 2017 and 2018 were large because we saved 2015-16. Um, and that the bid, we have been coming in under bid and the bids have been coming in well with the, the joint effort. This one will be the short one, only that we have a large reconstruction project that we're going to pay some engineering on. And two, um, 
we will have to do like we did before, probably save some from a previous year, add to the next year, because we seem to get better results at a, when we're contributing about $200,000, mm -hmm. uh, the levy brings in about 130,000, and now that 130, basically, we keep anywhere from 12 to 15,000 for local repairs, and then some engineering for other projects, other things, and then so you're not left with much. So we try to save a couple years, okay. but I, I bet you we'll have another section of town done within five years of, of overlays of ones that don't get reconstructed, but they just need some overlay. Okay, and you're talking when you were talking about for some money for engineering, you're talking about the the Galewood coming up. In particular, this one, yes. Okay, great. Thank you, mm -hmm. uh, Council. Anything else? Uh, Mr. Mayor, one more question. Yes, Mr. Vice Mayor. Uh, Mr. Kicker, to follow up on Mr. Lowry, what section do you think will be next to that you'll be starting in as far as roads? Because did you not say that Gail, or, uh, Northwoods would be completed after Galewood? Uh, Northwoods will not be. Galewood will complete all the Northwoods so far through Galewood, and we'll have Fenwick, Ross, and okay. Drake left for those, and those will all be reconstruction. None of those streets will get an overlay, so they um, that won't be that type of process. The Willowick area that we've been working in, spinning, Greenheart, Willowick, there's only two little short jaunts. I wish I would have got them in this year, I just didn't have the funds. But those two will probably get fit in for 2019. Then that section will actually be completely done for overlay. Mm -hmm. And then my goal and what I had budgeted for this year was in particular someone like Langdale, Hamilton. We already know I got Edgeville completed. So we're like at uh, in Zimmerman and Smith's already done. So we're gonna be looking at Langdale, Glen, Hamilton and see how much we can go. The problem with this section here is there's more damaged curb work, which is concrete. So we're looking at different avenues. So if we're doing this asphalt work, is do, does the city start looking at any kind of, I hate to say the word assessments for some concrete work, but at some point concrete's getting so expensive um, as compared to the asphalt rate, I could put a ton of asphalt down for the price of concrete. So um, we'll just have to see when we get there, but we've been looking at Langdale and Glen and um, Hamilton as some projects for within the next couple of years. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lowry. <laughs> Sorry, you, you sparked another question. So you were talking about Drake. Those areas will be full reconstruction, and I'm assuming just because the, they are so bad, or is it because they need draining? Drainage is Drainage. the huge part, yes. Okay. Thank you. Council, anything else? Thank you, Mr. Kiko. You're welcome. Thank you, uh, Mr. Kiko. Moving on with the city manager report, our uh, uh, fire discussion with our fire chief, Chief Trustee. Mayor, Council, and citizens, for the month of October, the New Carlisle Fire Division responded to 82 EMS calls in the city, eight, eight EMS calls in Elizabeth Township. The division responded to nine fire-related calls in the city and one in Elizabeth Township. For a total run so far of this year of 1,179 calls, we had three EMS calls answered by mutual aid by either Pike Township or Bethel Clark due to Medic 52 being on a response. We answered two mutual aid EMS calls for Pike Township and one for Bethel Clark. In the month of October, the division responded to two overdose calls, one of those resulting in a DOA. All of the annual testing for the equipment and apparatus has been completed, has been completed for the year without any problems or failures, as pumps, hose, ladders, SCBAs, all of the uh, annual tests that have to be done. Uh, a little bit of a special note, it's not on the report. On November 27th at 7 o'clock in the evening at the fire station, one of our EMS lieutenants was uh, able to get in contact with a visible fence, and they are donating to the division at no cost uh, several uh, CPR and breathing masks for animals, for dogs, that type of thing, and they're going to be bringing them to us and donating them to the department and also doing a training on doing uh, rescue breathing and CPR on dogs and animals on the 27th at 7 o'clock and it's open to the, to the public. Anybody that would like to come out and see and what's uh, going on with it. Other than that, everything else is fine. Any questions? Council. Nope. I think we're good, Chief. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Fire Chief, Chief Trustee. And moving on with the City Manager's Report, our police discussion with Sergeant Underwood. Thank you, Mayor, Council, Citizens. October report, we called deputies dispatched to 42 calls. Assault, there was one. Domestic violence, there was seven. Theft, there was none reported. Non injury crash, 
We had four and injury crash, none reported. Citations five, drug complaints two, overdose, we were at one, suicide attempts two, and burglary one. In October, the city of New Prague had a low volume of complaints and dispatch calls the deputy received. This is a great trend and we all hope this will continue throughout the months to follow. And I look back, it was a good month of not receiving a lot of complaints and calls. Most of you know the winter safety, most of you know the winter safety tips, but as a reminder, here's a few things you don't normally hear. And one of those, we all think about it, and we get up the next morning and we don't leave early. So leave early. If you know there's snow and ice on the roads and it's going to take more time to get you from place to place, that's easier said than done. Visibility, please clean your windows off. Uh, we always have people that make a, like a peephole, and that's pretty dangerous, so uh, try to get your windows cleaned off. Fuel, and this is, this is my number one pet peeve. Fuel, make sure you have enough fuel to get to where you're going. And a lot of young people don't, um, and that leaves them stranded in usually bad conditions. Slow your speed down when the roads have ice and snow on them, and you may even need to go under the speed limit to be safe. And then, as uh, I always say, please contact the Clark County Sheriff's Department at 937-328-2560 if you witness anything suspicious. And this could be the phone call uh, we need to solve a crime. And lastly, please drive safety and have a great Thanksgiving. Council, any questions? Thank you, Sergeant Underwood. Thank you, Sergeant Underwood. And moving on to city manager report under informational items. Security quotes, uh, quotes, I'm looking to increase and add to our current security at various locations around the city. I do have a quote from ADT in hand. I will be seeking at least two more quotes. Um, depending on the cost, council may approve that legislation. And what I mean by that is if we choose to go with ADT where it has a recurring monthly uh, fee, where it's like a charge per month, then council will have to vote on that. Um, if it's just like a one-time fee, then it's under the 20, uh, 25,000 spending limit. I was just graciously tell council which way we're going to go. But again, we are looking to increase and add security at various, various locations in the city. Um, VSIS 2019, what that means is it's Volunteer Firefighters Insurance Services, and we do provide accidental sickness uh, and death for our uh, paid, uh, sorry, for our volunteer fire department. Um, right now, we had to, the cost went up uh, about maybe $1,500 from last year, and that is because we had to get a quote for six full-time, what they classify as full-time which is 28 uh, hours or more per week. So we did have four of those, uh, six of those that fell under that uh, uh, calculation. So we do, we will see a slight increase from last year. But again, it's still very affordable at 3,300 total for the entire year. Uh, 2019 health insurance, uh, Medical Mutual of Ohio has come back. They, they gave us a 6% increase. So it adds about $16,768 onto the city's budget. United Healthcare came back with a 6.7% increase. That will add about $18,725 to the city budget. Uh, I will be having a staff meeting on 11-27 to discuss this with the staff, and the staff will make their recommendation, and council will have to approve that final um, legislation piece. I do plan on having that to council the first meeting in December. That is, of course, is depending on anything that we should need to get back from the insurance carrier that the employees choose. Year-end items still keeping administration busy. That's budget, union negotiations, policy development, and contracts. And last, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. <clears throat> that is all I have for the city manager report. I'd be happy to entertain any questions. Council, any questions for the city manager? Nope. Thank you so much, Mr. Bridge. Thank you. Moving on here. Comments from members of the public. Please limit comments to five minutes or less. Hearing none. Many reports done tonight. Resolutions done. Mrs. Berner. All right, moving on to ordinances. We have two introductions, um, three with action tonight. Ordinance 18 27, public hearing and action tonight. And ordinance amending section 248 of the codified ordinances of the city of New Carlisle regarding city policy. Council? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lindsay. Move to accept ordinance 18 27. Second. 
an explanation to this ordinance. Um, policy development is something that we always try to either amend or develop. In this particular case, this is something that we had to develop. This is a recommendation coming from the state auditors that the city have a new and updated patty cash policy on hand, and that is, is what is in front of city council this evening. Council, any questions? <coughs> Mr. Lindsay. Uh, Mr. Bridge, yes. does, this, uh, <clears throat> does this policy also include the pool, the way they handle their cash funds over there or not? This is just a petty cash that is at the city building. Okay, so will there be one coming for the pool? The pool point? doesn't have petty cash. The petty, they have if, if they need petty that. cash, they come out of the one in the city building. Okay. Yep. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Council, any other questions? Nope. This is Bernard. Okay, Mr. Lowry. Yes. Mr. Cobb. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Mayor Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Shammy. Yes. Six zero. <coughs> Moving on to the next one, Ordinance eighteen twenty eight, public hearing in action tonight in ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into an engineering agreement for the wastewater treatment plant influent building equipment replacement project. Council. Second. And an explanation of this ordinance, um, we need to do some repairs at our wastewater plant. The wastewater plant is very old, it's over 30 years old. And this is engineering to design and build a, um, a bar screen and a pump. Council, any questions? No questions. Mr. Kick, oh, Mr. Bridge, may I, I have a question for you? Mr. Kick, probably answer. The bar screen is what we uh, went and saw on our tour where you, there used to be a grate that would bring the stuff up, right? Correct. And now we have to use a rake to get down in there and then pull it up, right? Correct. Okay, just making sure that's what I thought it was. So it's very old, and if you ever, there's actually a picture of it on the Springfield News Sun site from a few years ago. And it's really, really rusted, and it's seized up, right? Yes, it is not operational. Yeah, not operational. All right, thank you. This is Bernie. Good. Okay. Mayor Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Shammy. Yes. Mr. Lowry. Yes. Mr. Cobb. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Yes. And it's six zero. Ordinance 18-29, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on 12-3-18, and ordinance establishing temporary appropriations for fiscal year 2019. Okay. Ordinance 18-30E, introduction, public hearing and action tonight, and ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract regarding natural gas supply services for use within the city of New Carlisle, Ohio, and declaring an emergency. Council. Mr. Mayor. So, actually, I had his hand up first. Is there a second? Mr. Shammy. Okay. In explanation of this ordinance, this is an emergency ordinance, and, and normally this council does not like doing emergency ordinances, and I get that. But this is a special, unique situation that the rate that we're getting for our gas supply is actually a market rate. So the longer we wait, it could go up or it could go down. Um, so that's why it is an emergency ordinance. So basically what's going on is we currently get our gas right now from Becker Energy, and it is a market rate variable. So it goes up, it goes down. So last year we did the same thing as we said, all right, we don't have to go through Vector. We can get our electricity from just about anyone, as long as it's uh, allowed in the state of Ohio. So what we did is we did the same thing with our gas this year. We're going to get our gas through IGS. We're going to lock in a rate, and I do believe it's 4.62 per MCF. What that equates to is about 7,000 annual savings for the city. Council. Nothing. Mrs. Berner. Okay. Mr. Lowry. Yes. Mr. Cobb. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Mayor Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Shammy. Yes. Ordinance accepted 6 0. Do you mind reading the other business? Mr. Not at all. Thank you. Other business, Congressman Warren Davidson will hold his mobile office hours at the city building on the fourth Tuesday of each month from 1.30 p.m. until 2. The city offices will be closed November 22nd and November 23rd on Thanksgiving and the day after. Thank you. And council, any comments? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lowry. Thank you, sir. Uh, I don't want to bypass Thanksgiving by any means, but I just did want to get it out. I put it on the, the um, Heritage Flights website, our Facebook page a couple 
weeks ago. Uh, we finally have sealed up the deal to where on this year on New Year's Eve uh, at the ball drop here in the town, we will have fireworks this year uh, at the end of the, you know, 54321, and we'll just cut them loose. Uh, we can thank uh, Jim Bobo and his construction company for a very generous donation for helping us out and making that possible. So uh, now mark your calendars. This should really add to the event. So but as we get closer, I'll announce more uh, activities that we're going to be doing during that event. But I just I wanted to thank Jim Bobo. Bobo, he's a big help and a big part of the community, and he's the one that made that possible. So we'll be looking forward to that. Fantastic. Council, anything else? I have uh, two things. Uh, we have our uh, New Carlisle tree lighting December the 8th at 6.30 p.m. The Tecumseh Show Choir will be performing. Uh, we've added some additions this year. Uh, we'll also be lighting a menorah as well with the uh, New Carlisle Christmas tree. Uh, as the last year and the, and the year prior, we'll have free hot chocolate and candy canes while supplies last. Because uh, last year I bought a lot and I thought I I thought it was a lot, and then I found out it wasn't. Uh, we also have uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus will be there, and we'll also have a uh, envelope, uh, or sorry, a uh, letterbox for kids to drop their notes to Santa. And then after the tree lighting, it will be stationed in the city building, and uh, they can drop their letters there. Mm -hmm. so. And also, uh, one more thing, it's not, I'm not, it's not the, an event that I did or anything, but it's the uh, New Claw Christmas Parade and it starts at 10 a.m. and then at 9.30 a.m. at the Andy Barnhart Memorial Airport, Santa will be flying in. So it's free and it's a great time. And then after that, they'll be at the fire station for a costume contest. Yay. So, council, anything else? Do we have a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All right. Second for call? Yep. All right. All right. We'll for you. So we are going in for our discussion for collective bargaining matters. And we'll have a five minute recess. Uh, so, yeah. Do we expect some business afterwards? No. no. Hmm. Mr. Lindsay. <laughs> Motion to adjourn to regular session? Motion to adjourn to regular session. Second. <laughs> Mr. Shammy? Left? Okay. Um, Ms. Uh, Councilman Lowry? Yes. yes. Council uh, Councilman uh, Cobb? Yes. Councilman Cook? I don't know what's going on with my phone. Yeah, it's silent. Um, yes. Councilman Lowry. I mean, Lindsay. Vice Mayor Lindsay. And Mayor Reynolds. Yes. We're right now in. six to zero. I need a motion to adjourn. Mr. Lowry. Mr. Mayor. Yes. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Mr. We Lindsay. are adjourned. And that is.